Hi, I can't believe it's been almost one year since building this Ryzen PC. Might be time for an upgrade. This is Archange, welcome to DTX Gaming. I hope you enjoy this unboxing as much as I did. Included, there are a few test results right after this. Four threads. Lovely. First off, let's check out some Cinebench rendering scores. The Ryzen 3900X highlighted in red below scores over 7000 points when overclocked to 4.25 GHz at 1.35 volts, while getting just shy of 6500 on its stock 3.8 GHz on all core speed. This compares nicely against the older 2700X, which manages about uh, 4100 points while overclocked to 4.1 GHz and 3600 points on its stock 3.7 GHz frequency. For comparison, we have the older Ryzen 1700X scoring 3400 points, the i7-7700K with 2400 points and the i5-3550 reaching just above 1000 points. Next, check out the 3 Mark Time Spy scores. The previous chip manages a CPU score of just over 8000 for a total result of about 10,700 points. The 3900X, meanwhile, 
reaches a CPU score of just above 12,000 points for a total score of 11,572. Finally, there is Battlefield 5, one of the most notorious CPU-intensive shooters out there. Graphics were set to Ultra. Although the differences in the single player are not so obvious, take a look at both graphs shown in the upper left corners. There is a visible difference in smoothness on the Ryzen 3900X thanks to shorter frame times. Keep in mind that the resolution tested here was 2560 by 1440 with graphics maxed out. The differences are more obvious at 1080p, where the GPU becomes less of a bottleneck. In the end, was the upgrade worth it? Well, it depends. You pay more than double the price for somewhere between 50 to 60% more performance. Calling the 3900X a value king would be a stretch. But for a person relying on this PC for editing, encoding, sometimes streaming, the added threads are always welcome. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on. If you hated the video, please feel free to dislike and share your feedback with me. It's always welcome. See you next time.